Hey, it's Andy Mulholland with the Handy Andy Real Estate Experts, again with another video blog here. Today we're going to be talking about buying new construction. There's a lot of misconceptions out there about what that process looks like. Is it difficult? Is it easy? How should you go about doing it? Uh, so we want to clear up some things and some questions that we've gotten from people um, uh, about that topic. But first, I do want to point out a couple links on our blog here that you're going to want to be aware of. One is the free home value report link. That's going to tell you uh, kind of what the value of your home might be in today's market. The other link here is search all homes for sale and that's going to take you to our exclusive website that allows you to navigate all the listings from all the companies in real time. Uh, it's the most up-to-date listing information that you're going to find out there. So be sure to check those two links out. All right, back to the topic at hand. What are three mistakes to avoid when buying new construction property? Well, the first mistake is not having a real estate agent helping you through this process. A lot of buyers out there in the past have felt or thought that if they go directly to the builder that they're going to get a better deal on the property but the reality is that is just not true the only difference is the builder is going to pocket more money versus paying the agent that's representing you and that brought the buyer to the table but when you have an agent remember that's somebody that's representing you think of it like going to uh, a courtroom and not having an, uh, an attorney that's what you're doing when you're going to buy new construction but the reality is the other side has an attorney. That builder is an experienced real estate person. Whether they're licensed or not, many of them are, they're going to write the contract in their favor. They're going to negotiate in their favor. They're going to make sure that this is a good winning deal for them. But when a buyer has an agent representing them, and again, there's a huge difference between an experienced agent and one that brings no value whatsoever. But an experienced agent that knows what they're doing throughout this process, they're going to make sure that this is done in your favor and as much as possible negotiated on your behalf. So it's so important to have that agent. Um, do, the, other mis the second mistake that a lot of buyers make is they don't do their research. And again, this goes back to having the right agent, but when you're doing it alone, you don't do your research. You don't look at all the builders that might be out there. You don't look at all the developments and what future values might be. So if you buy a property, what is it going to be worth in 10 years from now? And, and what's going to happen around that neighborhood if it's a newer area that may affect your value? Uh, what type of home may you build that may affect your value? Um, looking out for overcharges. Unfortunately, there's a lot of builders that will overcharge you and they make money on the upgrades. A 400% overcharge on brand new cabinets because that's where they make money is upgrading the cabinets for you. Well, an experienced agent like the ones on our team know what those things are to watch out for and we know when, an, when a builder is overreaching uh, and profiting on upgrades for, for, the, for the property itself. Um, so we got to make sure we do our research. When we meet with a buyer that is looking at new construction, and many of them are, we will sit down with several builders, look at the different plans that they might offer, and compare costs and really give that buyer our advice based on our many experiences with builders in our community. And the third thing is not reading the fine print. Again, it goes right back to having the right agent that can point out the fine print because most likely the builder will not. But there are a lot of details in a new construction purchase agreement that you have to be aware of. Unlike a traditional purchase of a pre-existing home, on new construction, you put money down and you do not get that money back if for some reason you backed out. Uh, in a pre-existing purchase, you can build contingencies into your offer where if you, for some reason you backed out or something wasn't right, you'd get that earnest money back. New construction is not the case. You're much more locked into that. We need to make sure that you understand what that means. Also, there are options within a new construction purchase agreement that allow you to, while doing upgrades throughout the process, which happens often, a buyer will decide on a new construction home, decide on a lot and a builder and get started, but throughout the process they make upgrades. Uh, they change things. Well, in that purchase agreement from one box to the next, that, you know, that purchase agreement will determine whether you have to pay for those upgrades right up front in cash or if you can build them into your mortgage, which a lot of buyers want to do, and pay for them over time. Well, it determined, it's determined by how that purchase agreement was negotiated. And that's part of this fine print in this process. So those are the three things, not hiring a real estate agent, not doing your research, and not looking at the fine print. And they all rely on that first one, really, uh, to make sure that you have a professional that's advising you through this process. So if you're looking at new construction, want to look at all your options, and want a no obligation meeting with us so we can show you what it is we do and how we would suggest you go about that process, please contact us. Go to our website, handyandyrealtor.com. 
and get a hold of us, we'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching.